Now let's look at the OpenBOR tools that we'll be using. There are more tools available to you in the engine, but we're only going to be using a few for the purpose of this course. Following the same approach as before with the engine, let's use the File Explorer to open the OpenBOR Tools folder. We will look at the following tools. ASU underscore 19, which stands for Alfred Sprite Unpacker. This tool is for unpacking sprite sheets to create sprite animations from. This will be discussed in the advanced course. Pal Apply. This is a tool to quickly apply certain palettes to one or more images at a time. They are also great for taking images with many properties and making them ready to be used in OpenBOR. OpenBOR Stats. This is where the bulk of our work will be. We can use this tool to create and edit all kinds of models, as well as design and build levels for the game. Batch File Renamer. This is simply a renaming tool that makes it easier to structure your exported sprites from ASU to be able to build models easier. This will be used in the advanced course. These are all we'll be using for the course. There will gradually be hints and tips in the community if anyone is interested in using the other tools. We will now start to get to know the engine and build our first beginner's game. We hope you're learning what you can from these free tutorials. Again, if you feel you need more in-depth or extensive services or extra help with learning and getting the most out of this and don't want to wait on the videos, please feel free to join our DBH community for only $5. That doesn't mean you can't ask questions on here though. So if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post those. Like and share this playlist for those who may need it. At the end of the day, we just want to help people build their engineering and coding skills to be efficient wherever they want to go. I'm Kevin. Appreciate you watching and be brilliant. Peace.